always, it's a go. Well, now out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. I'll be notified every time I make new videos. Um, and let me know down in the comments below for questions in the video. How much do you like lava and volcano levels in video games? Yes or no? If yes, which one's your favorite and least favorite one? I'd love to know. I love these kinds of levels. I love the environment in these kinds of levels and stuff. 8-1 Furious Fire is what we're going to first. Basically here, the mechanic here you have is you have these guys right here. Which are the guys that, um... The fire guys. Here's where you get your first puzzle piece right here. Alright. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. The first kind of letter's right there. Let's see if we can get it. We got it! That was actually pretty easy. Wow. Alright, we're doing good. Ah. I feel like I have something on my leg. What is it? Uh, a stink bug was on my leg. Uh. Wow. <laughs> I especially don't want to do bad at the start of World 8. No. No, I don't want to do bad. I want to do good. I want to do good. Not bad. Watch out for those things right there. Just duck underneath them when they come. We didn't even make it to a checkpoint when we died, and we went pretty far in the level, I know. How did I get hit? I ducked! Excuse me. I don't know why I'm getting hit, even though I ducked. We're doing great. That was great. That was perfect. Okay, so... I need an extra heart. If you ever decide to give me. Alright, let's go here to the secret area right here. <laughs> Excuse me. I had to sneeze real quick. That's why I paused the game.
All right, so I want to do good. I ducked. I tried to dodge it. I don't know how it got hit. Because I ducked. Okay, we have to dodge. Why would you go this way? Okay, so we have to be careful. We have to wait until that goes by. I can't help it. I had to get hit there. Because if I were to jump to try to avoid him, the fire would have got me. Oh, no! I am not doing as good as I want to do. I'm doing terrible. Stop! I do not want to die. I do not want to die at all. Stop! I didn't even I didn't mean to hold the jump button for too long. I didn't mean to get hit. I had to. I had to take the hit there. Uh, I can't help but lose Didi. I want Didi, but I... I sometimes have to lose Diddy in order to progress. Because sometimes I just get hit anyway, no matter what I do. I'm trying to be careful, but at the same time, there's a lot going on. So I have to dodge everything. Okay. Perfect! That took a couple tries, but we did it. The first level World 8 is really not that hard at all. I don't know why it took that many tries, but it doesn't matter. We did it. It don't matter. We did it. Now we're going on to World 8-2. But before we do, we're going to actually go to Cranky Cone Shop. And buy the key. There we go. Excuse me. All right. Hot rocket. Here we go. This is the only rocket barrel level there is in World 8. Excuse me. And this one's actually a pretty easy rocket barrel level if you know what you're doing. World 8 is a pretty easy world if you know what to do. Like, it's a lot easier than World 5. I do have to say that. Like, this world's very simple compared to, like, 5. So, let's go up here. and There's a secret area up here if you time a roll jump just right. There we go. We got the puzzle piece right there. Just what I wanted to get. It doesn't matter or not. It don't really matter or not this level gives you Diddy or not. Because no matter if it does or not. Um, the, we're gonna it's, just, it's a rocket barrel level anyway. So. Okay, so this rocket barrel level is actually pretty easy. So... 
So to control it, you just have to tap the A button. Don't panic. Don't be scared here. Because you have nothing to worry about. You will have some fire coming from behind. But, but it's not hard to dodge. You just have to get a feel for it. And there we go. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's all you gotta do. It's one of the easier rocket barrel levels in the game. Most of the levels in World 8 are pretty easy. World 8 is a really easy world in this game. I'm doing really good. Okay, this part's really easy. You just gotta avoid these. Don't panic. Don't panic. If you panic, you're gonna end up dying. So don't. Practice makes perfect is what people say. But I say perfect practice makes perfect. Because that's the real answer is perfect practice makes perfect. I don't know what we're on there. Um, I don't know why I died, but... Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so watch out for these fire right here. Not too difficult, but probably the most difficult part of this level. Okay, so you just gotta go in a rhythm right here. The more you practice, the better you will get. And we did it. We, oh, wow. After we got past that part, we happened to clip right, barely clip right there and die. What a shame. I blame the game. I hate it when that happens. Okay, so you just gotta dodge these. Um, the more you practice, the better you'll get at dodging these. Practice makes perfect, is what people say, but I say perfect practice makes perfect. Because that's true. That perfect practice makes perfect. Okay, so right here, you just gotta do this. Take your time. Just take your time, is all you gotta do. Don't rush. If you rush, you're gonna end up dying. See? Very easy, I told you. <laughs> Probably the easiest rocket barrel level in the game. Not too difficult at all. It was so easy on the Wii version. I think I did better on this version than I did on the Wii version. I don't know how, but somehow I did. But I guess I'm just awesome. I guess I'm just awesome at this game. Okay, so we're going to go to... We're not going to do 8-3 because that's a level I can never beat. 8-3 is probably the hardest level of the game, so we're not going to do that. We're going to do 8-4, Smoky Peak. And this is another Silhouette level, and I love Silhouette levels so much. Excuse me. Let's do Smoky Peak. I know this level gives us Didi. Yes, it does. This level looks awesome. Look at it. Look how awesome this level looks. I've really enjoyed this playthrough a lot. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it after it's done. Sadly, it's gonna be done before too long, but I'm gonna miss it. Cause I'm very excited about my next playthrough, but I'm very sad about missing it, about this playthrough being gone. Cause this has been one of my best playthroughs I've ever done on my channel. I love Donkey Kong Country Returns, like I really do. I'm loving the 3DS version of this game, it's awesome. I still think the Wii version is the better version, um, just cause of the better controls and the better graphics. And the better frame rate, but this version is awesome too. Because at least the good thing about the 3DS version the, is that you can take it to places, but I just love, when you turn the 3D on, on this, it looks awesome. With, I did not do that for the purpose of the playthrough. Because uh, for the purpose of the playthrough, I wanted to make sure my gameplay is as good as possible. I'm used to it now, so I don't have a problem with it anymore. Uh, okay, okay, right, right here. If you hit the flames of fire, it is instant death. So be careful about that. This really is not that hard at all. So do not get crushed. You can get crushed here easily. No! Wow! I can't believe
believe I died. Because this level is not hard at all. It's not hard, trust me. It is not hard at all. I don't know why I'm dying and having a little bit of trouble with it. I'm normally not that bad at this level. Wow! I was ready! But it just... I think the LP curse happened to get me, I think, is what it was. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so we gotta do this. We gotta do this. No! That was an accident! Why am I having so much trouble? I am surprised this level's giving me this much trouble. I am normally not that bad at this level. I don't suck at it. I'm amazing at it. This level's super duper easy. I don't know why I'm having trouble with it. Why is it being so hard? This level's normally really easy for me. It's like the easiest level in World 8. I don't know why I'm having a lot of trouble with it. I'm surprised I'm having this much trouble with it. We have to really watch out for what's coming. If you bump that, it is instant death. Wow. There we go. That was good. Died a couple times, but we did it. Now we have three more levels of this video, cause I, cause I'm saving the final boss for its own video. The final boss deserves its own video. Bombing basalt. Here we go. I think this one's pretty easy. So let's watch out what's going on right here by doing this and boom. Alright, so, watch out for the patterns right here. Watch out for these. Stop! Wow! Why did they not give me Diddy early in this level? They should have. They should have gave me Diddy. Why did they not give you Diddy in this level? Wow! I need Didi. I want Didi. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I have Didi before I play 8-7. Because I'm going to need Didi for that. Possibly even banana juice for that. Because I don't want to struggle with that. Okay, so we're going to be careful here. So we're going to time things right. Wow! I almost died again. I can't believe it. So we're going to time things right. Alright. Oh, we're doing good. Come on! Give me Didi, please! I beg you for Didi! I want Didi so badly. He would make this a heck of a lot easier. Okay, he would make this a lot easier, like he really would. Excuse me.
Excuse me. I have to time these jumps just right. Mm. Ah, come on. I need, I want Diddy. I want Diddy. Uh, but they've not gave me Diddy yet. Maybe they will here. Finally, we get what I want. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's go to secret area. Wow. We did it. <laughs> we got a puzzle piece. Wow. I was going fast enough where it wouldn't crush me, but it still crushed me. Okay, so we got to do this. We lost Diddy by no fault of my own. Ow! I need a heart. I need either Diddy or an extra heart. Okay. Wow, I'm not doing great. I'm not, I mean, I'm not doing as good as I want to do. Wow, I timed it right and I still messed up. Wow. Wow, let's not mess up again. Let's prove it. I'm gonna try to keep Diddy for the rest of the level if I can. Um. <sighs> Ow! I can't help it! We lost him. We lost Diddy. We lost Diddy. Let's not die again. Let's not die again. I'm a little worried that we will die again. What? keep dying I want to do perfect I'm like what if I did lose what's the problem it's just a video game it's just a video game so it's not a big deal if it happens Uh. Wow, that was not bad. That was pretty good. That's pretty dang good. I think eight dash seven is gonna be. Um, that's gonna be really irritating. Moving melters. Eight dash six isn't that bad. So let's do 8-6. 8-7 is the one level that I particularly hate. Mainly because if you mess up, even just by a little bit, even if you mess up slightly, that level will punch you in the face. It's awful how difficult that... Like, that level will punch you right in the face. Am 
by messing up at the beginning of the level. That sucks. Mm. No! Give me Diddy! I want Diddy! <laughs> Ow! Okay. I ducked! I tried to dodge it! But same time, what sucks is, is that if it barely touches you, it, you still take damage. Even if it barely touches you. Let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Let's prove that we're the best. Because I am done dying. We need to have good gameplay. Oh, no! What's screwing? I think it's the input delay that's really messing me up because there's a like a two frame input delay on the 30s version where the Wii version did not have any input delay at all for some reason on the 30s version the controls don't seem as fluid because that really can mess me up big time and then, like I said there's a little bit of input delay so that messes me up too because I hate playing with input delay Okay, that was pretty good. I don't know why I'm dying on this level. This level's not that hard. Even without Diddy, it's easy. So even without Diddy, this level's pretty easy. That's nice. Give me Diddy, please. Thank you. This level's really easy. I like it really. How am I getting hit? Oh my gosh. Wow, I slid! <laughs> That's butthole! Why is there no checkpoints? That's butthole. I told you. That, that sucks! And it's gonna be a while before we get to that same part again, because there's no checkpoints! <laughs> I don't know why they did not put a checkpoint here. They should have. They're just being a butthole for not putting a checkpoint here. <laughs> they're just putting, they're just being a butthole for that. Give me, let's keep Diddy. Let's not get hit. How am I gonna dodge these? That was easy. That was easy. Okay. This should be easy right here. We got our first checkpoint. Was it or what? Or second checkpoint one? I don't know what it was. Okay, so I don't know why I had trouble with this level. This level's not even that hard. Even without Diddy, it's easy. Most of the levels in World Eight are pretty easy. I told you. Here you have the big fireballs, so you have to watch out for them and the little ones. Which don't worry, they're not hard to avoid. They're not hard to avoid or anything. You just have to watch out for them. There we go. 
Okay. I didn't care whether or not I did the ground pound thing or not. We still have Didi. That's good. Okay. I think I might get some banana juice is what I think I might do. Because I do not want to die on 8-7. I'm going to go to Cranky Kong's shop to get banana juice. I'm actually going to get extra lives. And some banana juice. Excuse me. I'm ready for 8-7. 8-7 requires some precise timing, so I'm going to... Alright, Red Red Rising, go to the... We're gonna go to the inventory. We're gonna use the banana juice. All right, time to do it. We got this. I thought I'll pull out the banana juice so that it'll make it a lot easier, a heck of a lot easier, actually. Here we go. The gold team. Here we go. We're the gold team. Okay, so you have to time these jumps right. This really isn't that hard if you know what to do, but it's just... It requires some patience. You just have to be patient with it. It's really not that hard. You just have to be patient. Those MLG Pro Strats. There we go. With the banana juice, this ain't even hard at all. Even without it, it's not hard, but it's not difficult without it either. It's just, it's just annoying without it. I just thought I would use it so I don't struggle. Because I can beat this easily with the banana juice. This ain't even hard at all with the banana juice. Mm. I'm just going to concentrate to guarantee myself not to die. Okay, sorry for not much commentary, because I have to concentrate. You have to be careful. I'm very excited about my Tropical Freeze playthrough we're going to be doing next. That's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, we're going to have a blast with Tropical Freeze. That's going to be fun. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we take damage or not. Wow. We're on half of the banana juice. Here, just go fast. It's easy. You just have to go fast. There we go. That was super easy with the banana juice. I told you. It wasn't even hard at all with the banana juice. No, it wasn't. All right. Next time, we'll do the final boss. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. Be notified every time I make new videos. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Jordan.